Hey, it's Katrina Giska, and I wanted to share some things about things that I know about. And I know about friendships, and I know about relationships. And that's a skill that I have, and I know that some people feel like they uh, have an area to work on in that area. So I wanted to share a few things that I know about how to create relationships with people. I mean, some people are part of the Mean Girls Club, right? You know, they sort of feel like if they're exclusive, if it's hard to get to them, then maybe somebody else will see that they're more valuable because they're not, a t you know, they're not able to be accessed. And you know what I think about that? I think that's a really sad way to live. I think it's a really, I just wouldn't want to live like that. Because for me, my relationships, my friendships, those are the things that uplift me. Those are the things that help me grow. Those are the things that support me when I'm down. And those relationships are the things that I find the most value in in my life that gives me joy. And wh why wouldn't you want to create more joy in your life? Um, so consider that um, the more open you are and the more accessible you are, the more blessings that you are going to be open to receive. Um, so how do you make others feel special? Because really that's, that's where it's at. That's what it's all about. You want to make somebody feel special. How awesome is it if somebody messages you and it's like, you know, because of you, you made my day or because of what you said to me, it really made a difference in my life. We all want that, right? We all want to know that we have a positive impact on others and things that you can do to make others feel special. You want to notice them. You want to notice the small things that they're doing right. You want to notice um, just that and acknowledge them. So that's um, making eye contact. That's smiling. That's making an effort to learn somebody's name. That's making an effort to know details about them. Are they a mom? What are their kids' names? They have boys. They have girls. Where are they from? These are all things that I do online because it... I do notice them. I mean, honestly, it's not just because I want somebody to feel a certain way and I have a desire to do that, but because I do notice them because they are important, because they are meaningful to me. And I know what they're doing for the world, for the people in their lives. And I know that this is just a positive wave that's just going to keep on going. Um, a lot of times people will say something like, you know, I'm not getting interaction on my page. I'm not, I'm not really feeling connected. And what I'm going to say is, you know, you might throw up a post about lip stain and although your lips are awesome and the lip stain is incredible, you know, maybe you need to work on your relationships because the more you support other people, the more they're going to support you back. So go to somebody else's page, comment on some of their stuff, notice them, take a take time to get to know them on a personal level. Appreciate them and give them a compliment. Listen, compliments, you don't want to give empty compliments or lies. I'm not saying that at all. But if you can't honestly look at somebody and see something that's so beautiful about them, you need to check yourself. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can look into somebody's eyes and you can see the soul in there. You can see really what they're truly, who they truly are, which is a soul in a human. <laughs> and if you can't see the beauty in that, then there's some other work that needs to be done, honestly. Um, I mean, I can look at almost anybody and be like, pick out something to compliment right off of the bat. And it's a true and honest compliment. Um, so think about doing that. Um, doing that more. Because you're going to make somebody's day by doing it. It's going to make a great positive um, impact in the world and the community. Um, you want to be the change and be that good that you want to see in the world and that you want to come back to you. So make an effort. Try a little bit harder because you will be successful at making somebody feel good. It's not hard to do it. Um, whatever you want to get in your life, switch your mindset. Give it out. There is an abundance. I mean, am I ever going to lose anything by giving out a compliment? No, <laughs> I don't lose anything. I gain something by seeing the beauty in someone. That's very, very important. Um, make eye contact with people when they're talking to you. Um, if somebody's finishing a sentence, don't cut them off. I mean, if you are going to cut them off, say you have to run. You know, I've done this. I'm like, oh, sh you know, and they'll be talking. And I'll place my hand on their shoulder and I'll be like, 
listen, Beth, I am so sorry. I have to jet. Hold that thought. You know, we'll, we'll catch up later. Um, and I'm just so glad that I got to chat with you for a few minutes. Got to run. You know, make sure that you do it in like a in a loving way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So the best way to change your mojo is to increase your positive interactions with other people in your life. So if things are going bad, just work on increasing um, and giving and being there for someone because you're going to start to see things change around you. You really, really will. So pour yourself into others, you know, give yourself to them and be open with them and be vulnerable with them and be who you are. Um, but those are all things to get started to create relationships. So thank you for watching. I, by the end of this video series, you too will be fabulous and friendly and, um, and you can sit with us.